Ja, man får ju nog ge det ett par veckor om man ska kunna ta sig iväg med de här. Ja. I alla fall en så ser det rätt idag. Vad tror du? Jag tror det. As we told you in the last episode, we stayed at Majuro for two months, where we were waiting for the rudder and some other things to be shipped in. There were a lot of things to see in the atoll, and there seemed to be different kinds of happenings every other day. is the anchor and uh, it doesn't work anymore and uh, so therefore we bought a new one and uh, one of our follower Mike helped us to buy it on Honolulu and uh, got it he sent it yesterday so we probably will get it next week so thank you so much Mike we got uh, our uh, post package yesterday yeah the new anchor and uh, some things from uh, my friend Christopher back home in Sweden and also the ceiling for the propeller shaft. Yeah. That's great. So, yeah. It's, it's from Honolulu and uh, Mike helped us. So thank you so much. Yeah, Mike. thanks a lot Mike. We couldn't order it because we're Swedish. So mm. so he helped us. Perfect. I wonder what it can be. <laughs> this is from uh, Gustav is uh, Christopher's uh, kid. Uh, oh, it's a bo it's uh, our boat actually. It's uh, Hilma. It's Hilma, yeah. Tack Gustav, fantastisk fin. Då ska vi sätta på hyllan. Yeah. Inside the lagoon and the calm water, we moved Hilma a few times without any rudder. When the circumstances were great like this, and with a flat ocean of friendly neighbors, it was very easy. We put a towing line in the front and to a dinghy. Oscar put in reverse on Hilma and I stood on foredeck and communicated between him and our friend Chuck who was steering from the dinghy. We also asked our friends Jenny and Sasha to stay close to us in case something happened, but everything went very smooth and easy. Oh, looking good. This time our purpose to move to another mooring area was because we needed to change the propeller shaft ceiling and then we wanted to stay in a more shallow area in case we dropped something. Ironical, our bad luck continued to haunt us. We wanted to film the towing from above and just before we started we tried to mount the GoPro in the mast. We dropped it, it bounced on the deck and then it fell right into the water where there was about 30 to 40 meters of depth. Attempt number four. Yeah. Good luck. This time we will find it. Yeah. Attempt number five. Yep. Good luck. Good luck. Här kommer Lina. So now he's been down in almost six minutes, and uh, this is the line that we um, that we have hooked to the boat. So it's a safety line that his line is connected to, and uh, on the bottom there is a weight. So um, I just follow his bubbles, and he moves around in a circle that's going bigger and bigger. Let's hope he he'll find it. Yeah. Ja. 
Så hittar du det andra grejerna vi har kastat i? Ja. Både den lilla grejen som jag la där bredvid och även den stora filmen. Vad jag hittar fan sen inte den gamla alltså. Mm. We kind of gave up yesterday but uh, we realized that we want to give it one more shot. Yeah. Since we figured that there was actually some guys on YouTube that, uh, no on Instagram that comment that it might be traveled really far from where we dropped it. So we put a boy down there and uh, mm. we tried to circle that area for half an hour or so. It's fairly deep, it's 30-35 meters, yep. like 100-110-120 feet. Yeah. So we give it a last shot. Hmm. He's swimming towards the boat, so mm. exciting. Oscar dove for the camera many times, but we never found it again. And sadly, we lost some footages from the reparations and other things. We were kind of sad about it. Of course, because of the videos and the money, but mostly because we did not have time to order a new camera to Maduro and we were going to sail to some very interesting places that we really wanted to film. We managed to find a cheap camera in a store, but the video quality in the few upcoming videos will be a bit up and down. I don't think he knows where he is because he's swimming in the wrong direction. Oh, sky! Du ser mot fel håll! Ja, det var för långt. Väldigt för långt. Jag tänkte på att du måste vara framme i båten. Nå! Så, vad är planen? Vi kommer att förändra sälen för den propellershaft. Ja, och vi... We can't haul out here, so we have to do it in the water. So that's going to be a bit complicated. Yeah, and but you're going to be in the water, and I'm going to be here. So you have to tell me where everything is <laughs> going. Yeah, and this is just to show. This is the old ceiling we have. It's a Volvo Penta called Blackjack, and it's dripping kind of a lot. And we're going to replace that with a new one called PSS. And it's supposed to be fairly good quality. This is the piece, and we the plan is actually to uh, take off to put out the put shaft. Out. Yeah. yeah, and we're gonna put some rubber. Yeah, some rubber is kind of a, a bicycle rubber from the tire. Yeah. So we're gonna take that around then, and probably we tried it before and it worked. So we just to make sure there's no water leaking in. Yeah, and then we have time to put in a new one. And then we're gonna push the shaft back in again. Yeah. And then we're probably gonna take in some water, but the pumps are gonna do the work for us, so. And hopefully there's no corrosion on this. Exactly, that's also one major thing that we wanna take a look at to make sure that we, the, sh the shaft is not corroded as the rudder shaft was. Yeah. So that's the plan. Yep, we hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. So first we're gonna remove the coupling to the engine. Yep. So that's the plan now and that's probably gonna be the hardest part to remove this and get the shaft free. Then we're gonna sand it a little bit, push it out, put some ceiling on the outside and then change the, uh, the ceiling. So that's the plan. So. Yeah. All right. Yep. That's that. Yep. Would you please go up and uh, put in neutral again? Yep. So. Uh. Okay. Oh. And now it's loose and you. Yeah, and just pull it out here. And now we uh, have to remove the coupling, and that's usually the. The trickiest part since you know it gets stuck there since it's yeah it's been, it's been there, there for a few years yeah so just to make sure that the new uh, fittings on the shaft will uh, go on there smoothly we're gonna sand it a little bit just to to make sure that it's gonna be all right oh it seems to be all right okay let's push it out and here's the coupling. Yeah. 
I'm gonna get some VD40 and put in there. Yep, so we decided to take a look on the outside while the VD40 is making progress. <laughs> yeah, and also we can put on the rubber, oi, uh, also to make sure that um, it's not leaking in any more water. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Here it is. And now we're gonna put on the uh, bearing puller, if that's the word for it, I'm not sure. Yeah, what's the Swedish name? Lageravdragare. Yeah. Lageravdragare or the claw. The claw. No. It's gonna come right off. Det rör sig inte ett spår. Nej. Eventually we got the coupling off. Uh, it took us all day yesterday to <laughs> work on that. We yeah. didn't want to use the sledgehammer or anything on it because that could make it crooked. So we used uh, a puller like this, but they bro it actually broke down. So we had to soak it in VD40 overnight, use uh, a bigger puller and uh, eventually popped off. So yeah. that's great. And what we want to do now is we're gonna remove the old um, Green? Ceiling, yeah. Oh, yeah, and we're gonna clean the shaft, sand it again a little bit more, put the new things on, and hopefully yeah. that will be sealed and good. And course. this one looks pretty good. It's not corroded or anything, so no. it seems to be right. And nothing on the propeller shaft either, so no, that's good. That's good. You so don't what? use any grease under the new. No, uh, they say in the manual it should be just soap water, so that's what I want to use. Mm. I think the grease will actually damage the, the um, O-rings on it, so that's why. Okay. And the rubber on the outside is actually, it's not leaking anything at all, so that's no. great. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that will get changed while we're still in the water. So what? So and next the step will be that I go in order. Yep. I will release the rubber up on the shaft on the outside, and I will push the shaft yep. inwards. And then it's gonna probably be a lot of water coming in like this. So. Yeah. And then it's gonna be all the way up there. Some water, and you replace the rudder. Rubber, not the rubber. The rubber, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we got the first thing on, so and I can feel that the rubber is some rubber is on because it's not leaking much anymore. So that's good. I threw it. Okay. Oh, there. Then come on. Come on. The rubber on the outside is gone and it 
seems good. Okay, we want to leave it back. Days went by and we kept on working and repairing things. During the towing the further broke so we had to repair that too. As we had told before a lot of things broke during the towing and when we released the last episode we got a great advice in the comment section that we think we should share. Philip Wilson wrote that we could have started the engine and put in reverse and run the RPM just enough to stop all the swaying and keep the slack out of the towing line. We didn't think about that, but that would probably work very well and we think that's important and great information that we wanted to share. After almost two months we finally got a huge package that we've been waiting for. The rudder should be here. Ah, oh, it's on the truck. Ah, oh, great. Here it is, finally. Uh, it's sealed so we can't really open it, but it's all right. Yeah. Now we know it's here. Yeah. Um, it's the right size. Yeah. Here's the rudder painted and done, and now we're gonna tow it to Hilma. Is it right? Yep, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. We're towing the rudder. Yeah. And it's a, uh, I don't know, it's a bit to go, but we're going in reverse now. Yeah. It's just easier so we don't hit the rudder with the propeller. And it's actually, the bottom of it is um, floating. So uh, it's if upside we, down. Yeah, if we drop it, it definitely want to sink. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's going to sink because the, um, the shaft is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> is it right there? Yeah. People are watching us because just half an hour ago we, yeah. we came with Hilma <laughs> and with the uh, stern first. And now we're uh, in reverse again. But might think that we like to go in reverse. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So this is what's uh, left of our uh, the old one. rudder shaft. Yeah. And down there is the ocean and we're not leaking and not sinking. So that's good. We built our own lifting device and before Chano sent the rudder we asked them to put a lifting eye in top of the shaft. We put a line through that and one extra safety line and then Oscar jumped into the water. And this one is just for yeah. you to communicate. One pull means go. One, two pull means stop. And a lot of pulls means to go down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking ahead, that's good. It's looking better, or do you see any wake? Well, there's. I see several boats coming in, so yeah. It's, yeah. those wakes are going to come over here. Yeah. Oh, we should just wait. Until yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You don't need. You don't need any more holes in the bottom of your boat. No. Oh, okay. Then it's ready. Once again, we asked our neighbor Shuck to help us, so he pulled the line, I pulled the safety line, and Oscar hung on to the rudder under the boat to make it straight. While we pulled, he steered the shaft into the hole, and it all went very smooth. 
As you can see, we also prepared a lot of knots on the lifting line, so it would go faster and easier to pull it up. Okay. Hey. So, and then I take this one too. Can you, can you see the... Uh Shaft coming up yet? Uh, well, it's yep. There you go. Hey. Det åker lite av sig själv. Ja just det, det gör ju det på grund av... Ja det gör det ju inte lättare att montera den när vi ska hålla på. Fast jag planerar faktiskt inte att tappa rodet ytterligare en gång. Jag, jag känner mig nöjd med rodet tapp nu. Är du? Mm. Ja. Jag med. Om vi tappar rodet igen, mm. då vill jag åka hem. Ja, det vill jag med. Det är liksom ett tecken på att nu är, nu är det slut på det roliga. Ja. Finally, Hilma had rudder again and we were getting ready to leave. In Maduro we took a few trips, sometimes by foot and sometimes with a car. Just wait for a cab and just jump in and pay one dollar. Yeah. People hop on and hop off. Yeah, and you share it with different people, so it's like bus system, but it's a uh, regular car. Yeah, yeah. Cab. So it's perfect. Mm. Before we could leave, we had to go to the American Embassy, which was a car ride away. Yeah, we just uh, picked up our uh, American visas. Yeah, but now we're allowed to, uh, to visit you, uh, visit US in uh, one year. Yeah. From now. On. Yeah, and uh, the process took less than a week, so that was just great. We went for the interview last day, and now we picked up the visas. So that's yeah. perfect. And I was almost nervous about the interview, but. It, he was so friendly and everything was so easy, so yeah. it was perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Let's uh, go perfect. home to Hilma. Yep. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to support our video production by becoming our patron, click on the Patreon logo in the end or follow the link below. In the next episode we tried to leave Maduro, but that turned out to be easier said than done.